I have assessed our encounter with the Netherbrain from every angle. I know why we failed. The problem was not the stones. The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the Netherbrain calculates every possible move at once. It knows what you will do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. To defeat it, you would have to think like an anithid. Better yet, be one. Your mind is not capable of this. Mine is. You will give the stones to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prison to face the brain. Assimilate him? Skva! No! Now is the time to liberate him! Do not stand against me. I will consume his thoughts, his knowledge, his brain. So you would kill him? He is Gith's heir. You'd be the Gith Yankee people's betrayer. You'd be my betrayer. I realize he is of some significance to you, but he is of even more value to our cause. In theory, yes. You have resisted such a fate so far, and this would be a complete evolution. And you will be an illithid for the rest of your days. Is this really something you would be willing to accept? I could. I should. I have nothing to lose anymore. I'm burning up, burning out. But this is something I can still do. This is how I can help save the city I love. Are none of you capable of thinking beyond yourselves? My people's future hangs in the balance and you're clamoring to be martyrs. That you even entertain this gaith shows you have learned nothing from our time together. The Emperor may be a mind flayer, we have needed all the help we've received. I don't think we should stop now. We hold the means to free the Prince of the Comet. How is this even a debate? Yes. Please. Has everyone's brains leaked from their skulls? We took the Orphic Hammer for a reason. Think, indeed. If we do not do this, I trust you have aired opinions and grievances and made your decision. Are you ready to become a Mind Flayer? Thank you. Now stand aside. I will assimilate the Githyanki's power in your stead. Stop. You would keep my people chained to their damnable queen. I should have trusted my gut. Driven a blade through your throat at first chance. We have the means to free Prince Orpheus, and you side with Geich! Who are you? You want Orpheus dead. You'll have to kill me first. Lies! You have been seduced by empty promises, Geich tricks! To think I ever hoped for more from you. You have damned my people for eternity. 
Assimilate Orpheus, and I will rip off your every limb and bask in your agony. Gifts eternal grace. Do it. We will end the grand design. And then we will go our separate ways. Judge me. Come, we must follow the brain's path. This time, we will not fail. I think I'm going to be sick. Come, it's time to leave. There goes my appetite for a while. Hope we made the right choice. If not... to say. Its mind has been consumed. Whatever thoughts it once had are forever lost. What to do? What's the story? No one stopped me yet. I think we're done here. I'll certainly be glad to see the back of it anyway. Ready when you are. You had a choice. And you took my prince from me. From his people. You took our freedom. By every right, I should cut off your limbs one by one and leave you to your screams. But I made my promise. We will slay the Netherbrain and end the Illithid Grand Design. I will decide after that where my path should lead. Time slows to a crawl while he scrutinizes you. In his eyes, his people's past and future. Fighting as he tries to understand the true path, the right path. The weight of responsibility heavy upon him. The enemy of my enemy is no friend to me. But I cannot let the Gay Empire swarm the astral plane. I will spare you. In fact, I will help you. But when the brain withers, so too does our alliance. It will not just be Vlakiv that hunts you once the embers of battle cool down. Thank you, Voss. Spare me your thanks, Ashavanak. Now go. 
I stand at the ready. We have lost much already. And we will lose more before the day is out. But even when the last soul falls, Baldur's Gate will stand. For Baldur's Gate is more than just a city. It is more than a place of opportunity for those of mercantile spirit. More than a place of refuge for those who are lost. More than a home for friends, loved ones, and adventure. Baldur's Gate is a place where anyone can find what they need, if they're just willing to fight for it. Today, Baldur's Gate needs us. Today, we fight for... You're late, friend. This is the one you spoke of. The very same. The champion we've been waiting for. The one who will save Baldur's Gate from ruin. The fist examines your illithid ally with suspicion. He was not expecting the savior of Baldur's Gate to be accompanied by a mind flare. Appearances may change, but they do not mask the one within. This one, I know. Observe with whom it traveleth, friends. This Mind Flare will fight with thee. It will save thy city and thy lives. The Fist eyes your illithid ally with suspicion, softening to curiosity. His hostility melting at the recognition that there's more behind those eyes than malice. My steel is yours, and I'm not alone. You helped me once. I figured it's time I paid you back. With magic. I'm better at crafting steel than wielding it. Your friend here is armored and potion-fueled and ready for battle. I have marshaled the best the Flaming Fist has to offer. We will fight to the last. My Iron Hand gnomes brought enough explosives to level the upper city. Just show us where we're needed. The Moon Maiden's silver light is a shield in dark times. Today, it is mine to wield. And I hold her sword. Whatever strength I have to lend, I will lend it. I will make my city proud again. You can count on me, little rabbit. And your squiddy friend. I thirst for the hunt. I made some improvements to Ramazes' arcane artillery. Give the word and the sky falls on any who stand in your way. Not sure what I have to offer a mind flare, if I'm honest. But I hope my words of encouragement and reassurance will strengthen your uh, resolve. The journey has been brutal. But I stand here a hell rider once more. And I would die a proud man if I died this day. I want my city back. And I've brought the toughest bastards from the guild to get the job done. My people have never hunted a monster this large. They are eager to join the fray. All the strength of the lands we healed flows through me. And from me to you. And whatever company you keep. Nature's servant awaits. Glad to have you with us. And not a moment too soon. The air is thick with anticipation. All eyes are on you. They're expecting a speech. Something to stir their hearts and put fire in their bellies for the fight ahead. Well said. We'll prepare ourselves. We'll be ready when you call upon us. Baldurin's grace be with you. You feel a tickle of mirth in the Emperor's thoughts. If they only knew the truth. Dost thou need my services? I was surprised by how well the owlbear would take to the potions. <laughs> Just look at it. Glorious little creature. Well, 
Or so little anymore. Say whatever you need to. Seems like a good moment to talk. I wouldn't be here without you. It's time I repaid the favor. I'm glad you're here. The Illithid, too. Though it'll take some getting used to. Have courage, my friend. Your victory is assured. Onwards. There is no reason to linger here. Come on. Speeches are done. All that's left is the doing. We face the greatest evil our realm has known. And we do it together. On your word, the sword of Saluna will fall upon our foes. Oh, don't look at me. This is your charge to lead. And no one better to do it. Today... We take back the city. Once the city is saved, we'll rebuild it better than ever. With Iron Hand invention at its very foundation. Press on. This will all be over soon, and then... My gods, I'm having something very strong. like violence all round. Smoke. Blood. Tears. <laughs> this will be a good hunt. Hurry on and start the attack. We stand ready to help you, as you helped us. Bloods, this is the dream. Knew I was smart to sneaks in. The Skelly Boy said I could stay if I sold your stuff. So hurry up. Bye, bye, bye. Really? Oh, don't you go getting chopped up. I need customers. this tower and its dashing master at your side my friend let us finish this fall back fall back Matthew! leave him be we have to keep running It's over. He's frightened of your illithid ally, but the very fact it hasn't killed him on sight gives him reason to... Can the rumors be true? Is this really the Mind Flayer who could save the city? You see his mind racing through its options, finding only one. Against all his better judgment, it's you and your Mind Flayer. Remarkable. Never in all my life did I think to fight alongside a mind flare. Oh, we go back in there, we die, we flee, we last half a day at best. Shit! If this is it, then God damn it, let's make it count. City Watch, with me! 
We'll follow you to our last breaths. power and the very place that we will be able to dominate it that's where we should use the nether stones scroll one abomination bursts another <laughs> because it knows I'm its master. I will finish this. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of the Emperor's strength to keep it there. 
an opportunity perhaps. is yours, yours at last. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this.
loss of a mind is a terrible thing. But this time, I think I'll make an exception. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. And I'm still standing in the sun. This is incredible. Maybe whatever it changed in me was permanent. Against all odds, we cured ourselves. Free from the parasite. Free from the prospect of ceramorphosis. I can hardly believe it. We will not become accursed illithids. Not to cast any slight on you, of course. Your form rather suits you. It makes little difference to me. I did what I had to to secure my freedom. And in spite of your resistance to evolution, you have proved a good ally. I'm glad you think so. I did my best. Skva, you may have succeeded, but I have failed. Gith's son is dead, and Vlakith has abandoned me. I will be hunted by her Inquisition to the ends of the world. I must leave. I have nothing more to gain by being here. Jack Von Findu, source of my joy. Without you, I wouldn't have known warmth. Only ice and fire. Perhaps there is a future here. Yes, I will stay. My destiny is for neither Vlakith nor Orpheus to decree. It is mine. <laughs> The Githyanki are departing in peace. Curious sight in a day already full of them. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Chiontha. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. The power of Carsus would be in my hands. But what then? What would I do with it once I have it? Sage and timely counsel as always. And I intend to heed it. A wise man learns from his mistakes and strives not to repeat them. I shall bring the crown to Mistra. She'll cure me of my affliction. And I'll finally be free. And a more deserving one this time around. If this adventure has taught me anything, is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. Besides, Growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, but I'd quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure Mistra will summon me soon enough, but until then, I propose we celebrate our victory the mortal way, with a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. I'm not sure about, um, <laughs> drink in hand, but I think we've all earned some reckless abandon. How about you? Any thoughts on what's next? Perhaps we can circle back to that one once the fires have died and the rubble settled. I do think we deserve a little rest. I will not be joining you. I fear my presence will be no more welcome in the streets of the city than it ever was. Hmm. You're right, of course. But, well, I'll miss you, friend. Your companionship has been quite the education.
I will miss you, too. Now that you no longer live in each other's minds, it's hard to tell if the mind flare is being sincere, though perhaps no harder than it ever was. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. That's the last of a starry and the sun will ever see. May he fare well in the dark. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. <sighs> Engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? allow this. Karlak, you're coming with me. Back to Avernus. You can't... <sighs> so, what do you say? Die here now, or live on with the blade of Avernus at your side. Zariel won't touch you. I swear it, Karlak. Fine. I'll go. Well, with you. But we have to go. Now. I can't hang on much longer. allow this. Karlak, you're coming with me. You can't... I can't force her. But I don't want to watch either. I can't.
It's over. And it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire. No death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. There thou art, the dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. I owe you thanks. The crown really is marvelous. I'm almost tempted to dig Carsus' soul out of whatever pit he's in, so I can show him what his creation is capable of. Now it's in the right hands. My legions are beginning their assault on Zariel's flying fortress just about now. It will fall before the sun rises over Toril and Avernus will be mine. Conquering the other hells will be simplicity itself. Some of the archdevils are already making overtures of peace and promises of tribute. My dear father Mephistopheles is among them. Even he sees how the tide has turned. And with all nine hells under my command, I will end the blood war, Inferna Victoria, and look for new worlds to conquer. <laughs> it won't be long before I come knocking at your door. Ta-ta, for now.
of his affection for you, or confirmation that he owns you. For the first time in over a century, silence falls over the Baal Temple. No chants, no screams, no prayers. In the end, your own death brought you more joy than any you wrought on this land. You are slipping into peaceful oblivion. But your journey is not over. Thou hast defied Baal, thy liege and father, and in doing so hast earned a place among champions and heroes. But alas, thy courage was in opposition to the divine cosmology that bound thee to the Lord of Murder. Thou art now faithless, godless, and do want to wander the Fugue Plain for eternity. I will not permit that, though all the powers of life and death dictate that it should be so. I too still hold some power, and I invest a portion of it in thee, who hath challenged the gods and now liveth to tell of it. Thy fight is not over, and it is thy fight. For one who can look upon Baal and oppose him can survive any crisis. So rise, challenger of gods, and prepare for battle once more. Death will not claim thee whilst I... The sole way to atone for thine actions is to do better in a new dawn. That dawn has come. Baal tried to extinguish thee, but his wrath is imprecise. He only succeeded in killing the part of thee he knew. The urge that drove thee to terrible acts, the spark of brutality that made thee his. But there is a new part of you that hath grown during thy travels. That part Baal could not extinguish. And so, instead of destroying thee, he hath made thee anew. It must be said. Because of you, I still breathe. Because of you, I still battle. I'm not one to show gratitude, but... Thank you. The heart of a savior hath overshadowed the mind of a murderer. Thou hast 
vanquished thine urge. I know all, but to state truths is to interfere, for the minds of mortals are easily swayed. My place, for the most part, is to observe. This intervention, the reclamation of thy soul, is beyond mine ordinary remit. But thou art extraordinary, and so are these times. Today thou art born anew. Happy birthday, soldier. Greet the bloodless dawn, child of none. Thy path is clear. You must save Baldur's Gate. As it was, so it is again. A hero has risen from a legacy of death. I will consume his thoughts, his knowledge, his brain. So you would kill him? He is Gith's heir. You'd be the Gith Yankee people's betrayer. You'd be my betrayer. I realize he is of some significance to you, but he is of even more value to our cause. Still don't trust me. After all we've been through, remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. Your knight in shining armor. I freed you from the Nautiloid, prevented you from crashing to your death. I have protected you ever since, at no small cost to myself. I came to you as a leader, but I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not above recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you, not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy, the same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential, all while protecting you from harm. And when you saw what I truly am, you did not reject me. You enjoyed me. Now I ask you for the last time to trust me. Release the Netherstones to me. I told you we have to trust one another. I told you the Githyanki would only want to kill you for what you are. Still. You choose to break our alliance. Even united, the Netherbrain was going to be an impossible enemy. But apart, we have no chance of survival. Very well. Since you will not work with me, you work against me. You leave me no option but to join with the Netherbrain. Silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You reek of illithid. You fornicated with a mind flayer. And you slaughtered my honor guard. Nonetheless, it seems we must be allies. Your Majesty, the Prince of the Comet, Gith's true heir. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You reject.
rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. That is true. And it would have been the honorable outcome for one destined to become Geek. You had the opportunity to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. They would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering. Avoidable. Were it not for the choices you made. Transgressions. We will destroy the Netherbrain together and put a stop to this nascent empire before it expands into the stars. The Gake was correct about one thing. The Netherbrain's power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an Elithid to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. There is not. We face a nether brain. For there to be one way to defeat it is unlikely enough. There will not be another. Wait. Maybe you don't have to. It... It should be me. My heart feels like a live grenade. Gonna blow any minute. You still have a life to live. I don't. If this is the end for me, let me be the motherfucker who saved the world. Any time, soldier. You, Tiefling. You would volunteer your life for the greater good. You would make the ultimate sacrifice. I thank you. The Netherbrain wants nothing more than to see all infected become geek. My defenses keep the voice of the Absolute out. But just as I can raise them, so I can lower them. I will allow the voice of the Absolute in. Once it reaches you, it will order you to transform. It will only take a moment. And once you are a Mind Flayer, I will fold you under my protection once more. You will be the savior of empires. Not least, my own. With the withdrawal of Orpheus's power, Karlak's mind is rushed with the full force of the Netherbrain. The fabric of her being is torn apart and reformed in an agonizing process that is... closed off from the Netherbrain's mind. My people will remember you, Tiefling. The rebel Illithid who stood beside their reborn prince and ended the grand design. Let us return now to the city and follow the path of the Netherbrain. Painful, to say the least. Come. It's time for us to meet our fates and end this illithid. A most noble sacrifice, Tiefling. Gifts blessings upon you. This is wild. I myself, but... but more. You don't need to thank me. I somehow feel like... like this was meant for me. Maybe not the tentacles, but, you know bigger picture. 
And my engine, it's... It's... Silent. No heat. No gears. Still there, but no longer threatening to explode. Soldier. Yes. Yes. My God. Is it possible? Shit. I'm gonna be all right. I get to be alive. I get to stay! As a hideous monster, sure. But one that can feel, think, live. But I'm still myself. And I still love you. And more than anything, I know what our mission is. Delighted I get to do the honors. I'm glad for you, Karlak. It's hardly the life anyone dreams of, but, well, it's a life. I'll do you one better than good. Let's do something absolutely legendary. Go ahead. I will follow. loyal friend how good to set eyes on you you honor me your radiance Lazel to Lakmagir thanks to you the skies above Tunarath shall tremble with psalms Orpheus will take the truth to the people we will slay the Lich Queen our chains will be cleaved mighty Foss your words lift me Vlaketh will splinter like glass and vanish like smoke. Shavar, Orpheus! When the hammer struck, the air's psionic cry shook the plains and marked his locus. Vlaketh will have heard it too, and she won't stand idle. The Queen will have her due in time. Today, we strike at the brain. This champion holds the key to its defeat. Stand by for orders, Voss. Answer to him as you would answer to me. As you wish, Prince Orpheus. Forward! The nether brain falls this day. Let it be the first victim in the war for the skies!
classes, the sight of power, the sight of domination. We need to use the nether stones on the crown. That is our fated path. Tadpole's brain. It's time to die. I must. I must obey. I must. We did it. We actually did it. And the city's still standing. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. And I'm still standing in the sun. This is incredible. Maybe whatever it changed in me was permanent. And the worm squirms no more. Who need not worry that his seat on my skull will grow suddenly stickier with Mind Flayer juice. Ah, forgive me, Sk. It has been said that his mouth sometimes frolics and feels far ahead of his mind. It's all right. I knew what I was doing. I will ensure that all Gith Yankee know your name and your sacrifice. What you have done today will start a fire that rages across the astral plane. With their lost prince returned, my people will burn away Vlakith's corruption. And it is all thanks to you, the Illithid who defied a nether brain. I did, didn't I? I saved the fucking world. And I think I might live long enough to tell the tale, too. I thank you, my liberator, my savior. People are leaving, and I must leave with them. Come, Lazel. We will free the Gith Yankee and dismantle the Empire. Let them be imprisoned no longer. Jacques von Findur, source of my joy. Without you, I wouldn't know warmth. Only ice and fire. I can never forget you. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlage, Liberator. Orpheus, I am ready. Julas! Julas!
Farewell, Jestil, my liberator. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city, smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Giontha. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. The power of Carsus would be in my hands. But what then? What would I do with it once I have it? And what kind of god would I be? No kind the world will suffer for the absence of. And, I hope, there are plenty on mortal soil who would regret my absence. If this adventure has taught me anything, is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. Besides, I'm growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, but I'd quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure Mistra will summon me soon enough, but until then, I propose we celebrate our victory the mortal way, with a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. Very well. Perhaps after a drink or five, I'll be tempted to inflict some of my singing on you all. As if the city has not suffered enough. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! What the... Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I, I'm sorry. I... I have to go! I suppose that's the last time any of us will see him. And the last time I'll ever see the sun. It's over. And it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Soldier. Thank you. But beauty no longer concerns me. This vessel, this flesh, is but a means to experience the depths within and without. Before, all I cared about was survival. Now, I think I'm ready to live. I love you too. Before, that love was an irrepressible inferno. Now, it is a calm, cool object of beauty. Maybe you're right. I feel less... changeable. Less afraid. I feel ready for whatever is to come. At your side, I have learned to make peace with death. To accept new life. 
to conquer all that stands in the way of us and our destiny. We are indomitable, and the life we lead will be legendary. Let us begin, together as one. An opportunity, perhaps. No! What are you doing? This was all I had! <laughs> What are you doing? Stop! But it isn't a sacrifice. <laughs> if this is the end for me, let me be the motherfucker who saved the world. Fascinating. You take on the sacrifice that you could have foisted your responsibility onto another. Perhaps I misjudged you. The Netherbrain wants nothing more than to see all infected become Gake. My defenses keep the voice of the Absolute out. But just as I can raise them, so I can lower them. I will allow the voice of the Absolute in. Once it reaches you, it will order you to transform. It will only take a moment. And once you are a Mind Flayer, I will fold you under my protection once more. You will be the savior of empires. Not least, my own. With the withdrawal of Orpheus's power, your mind is rushed with the full force of the Netherbrain. You feel a compulsion unlike anything you've ever known. Excruciating and exhilarating in equal measure. You wish nothing in the world but to evolve. Then, complete silence as you are once again closed off from the Netherbrain's mind. My people will remember you. The rebel Illithid who stood beside their reborn prince and ended the grand design. Let us return now to the city and follow the path of the Netherbrain. I think my last meal is threatening to resurface. Come. It's time for... You feel it, a sudden shift. The brain is weakening, its grasp of itself slipping. This is your chance. Will not submit. Even bound, its will is stronger than anything you've ever felt. The chains shake, threatening to break at any moment.
vile death rattle. Spare me. Join me. Wield me. Become absolute. Command it to die. End this. and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn methods. <laughs> the pain rips through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. Everything you did, everything you to bloody swim. Can't believe I almost drowned at the last hurdle. <sighs> My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. We've won. 
But at what cost? The mangled rhymes the bards will make of your name. Mm, perhaps those are the true evil here. The parasite. It's with it. Dead along with the nether brain. I am cleansed. I will never be a filthy geich. Only mild offense intended, of course. You did the unthinkable. And I'm grateful for it. I will ensure that all Githyanki know your name and your sacrifice. What you have done today will start a fire that rages across the astral plane. With their lost prince returned, my people will burn away Vlakith's corruption. And it is all thanks to you, the Elithid who defied a nether brain. As you wish, my savior. My people are leaving, and I must leave with them. Come, Lazel. We will free the Githyanki and dismantle the Empire. Let them be imprisoned no longer. Shak von Findur, source of my joy. I wish that you are Geich. As noble as you are, this is a threshold I cannot cross. This is where our fates diverge. I have already chosen a way. The way of Orpheus. Vlakith will fall, and we will plant a seed. From that seed, Githyanki freedom will blossom. Your will is strong, Rastel. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir, Liberator. Orpheus, I am ready. Farewell, Gestil, my liberator. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city, smoldering waiting to be rebuilt. You are a mind flayer, the very thing you sought to eradicate. Whatever self you possess is quickly ebbing away. Your friends and enemies alike have ripe for manipulation. And if not manipulation, then consumption. Soon you will not be able to trust yourself at all. You will be a monstrosity beyond redemption, or not. Perhaps you are unique among illithid kind. Perhaps you will retain enough of who you are to resist your nature, a rogue mind flayer. Like the Emperor, the risk is certainly yours to take. Will you?
You have thwarted the Elithid Grand Design. You have defeated three Chosen and a Nether Brain. You are miraculous. And you have earned the right to live. Your fate will be what you make of it. Now you are your own. Just as I was free, I will do it. I will become illithid. I will sacrifice my soul for my people. I will end the grand design. My prince, you cannot. This is not your burden to bear. The nether brain will be only too pleased to claim me. My prince, no! Even in my darkest hours, I knew it was my destiny to save my people. I could never have imagined this would be the way. Give Kartav Keem crushed. Finish this. Once the grand design is ended, kill me. It is the very least you can do. Come. It's time for us to meet our fates and end this illithid nightmare. I will not forget what you did here today, nor will the Githyanki people. We have unchained the true man. First, he will lead us to victory against the Netherbrain. Then, he will loose the Githyanki from Vlakit's undead talons. Through the portal. It's dark! Chris! You held the future of a people in your hands! How dare you take our prince from us! How dare you! Parade around this abomination! Silence your blasphemous tongue, Voss! Voss! Give Kartav Keem crush! What? Stand down! The true heir has spoken! No! It can't be! Orpheus! My prince! What's become of you? The grand design must be ended. A sacrifice had to be made. The duty fell to me. I am not long for this world, or any other. What of Vlakith? What of our liberty? You underestimate your own people. Their imaginations have kept the name Orpheus alive for millennia. Bring them my message. Tell them my fate. Some will doubt. Some will mock. But some will listen. And the spark will be lit. Find your nerve, my friend. Today, we strike at the brain. This champion holds the key to the Grand Design's end. Answer to him as you would to me. Your Majesty. I have spoken. As you wish. I stand at the ready. Your friendship. Your constancy. When I fell to despair, they elated me. Thank you, my friend. Shavazai. Shavazai. 
Now, to the Netherbrain. Let it be the first victim in the war for the skies. legacy. The grand design, once again, ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. It's done. The Netherbrain is defeated. Along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. And I'm still standing in the sun. This is incredible. Maybe whatever changed in me was permanent. 
And the worm squirms no more. Bull need not worry that his seat on my skull will grow suddenly stickier with Mind Flayer juice. Ah, forgive Minsk. It has been said that his mouth sometimes frolics in fields far ahead of his mind. Even when my time in the prison stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. But first, Lazel, I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. Duty. All my life I've traveled in its slipstream, not once questioning its path. In its service, I came here. And now, in its service, I leave. I will carry your hope, Prince Orpheus. And I will carry your burden. But to that burden, I must add my own. The loss of those I leave behind. Lach crashed, Makvlek. So be it. Now, give me my freedom from this form. Yes, but for how long? My mind screams. It will never stop until it has slipped away from me entirely. I will not be Gake. I did what I did to save my people. The rest is up to them. Someone else must rise within the ranks to lead the revolution against Vlakith. Give me my freedom from this form. Release my soul to the Astral Seas, while I still have one to call my own. Perhaps you are right. I may not be the one to lead my people. But I can still bear witness to their glory. I shall find a place for myself in a corner of these realms. For even in darkness, the stars of Tunarath will shine upon me. You were a worthy ally. His people are blessed to have him as their prince. I just... Hope he finds peace in his new form. Gans, Kulos and Kuthos, and rides to the Astral Sea. Mother Gith battled for liberty, but it was only here, with you, that I learned what it meant to be free. Yes, I will stay. My destiny is for neither Vlakith nor Orpheus to decree. It is mine. then my destiny is undone. Until someone can take up my cause, the Gith Yankee will remain chained. I found freedom, and then lost myself to this horror for nothing. All that remains is to die. Githka! <sighs> Tavkim crashed. <sighs> the princeling deserved a better end than this. 
We shall remember him, Boo. Carry my hope. Carry my beauty. I will carry. Luck crushed my. and spare the city. The stage is set for my final act. The mistress bidding and the redemption that lies beyond. You brought me right where I need to be. I have no right to ask more of you. It's time I spirited you to safety. But this is a fate. I must face alone. Much as I enjoy your company, I'm not willing to kill you just to wring out a few last moments. It's just a choice between two deaths. Quick and meaningful, or torturous and pointless. It's now or never. What I want, perhaps not. What I need, I believe so. But it may not be the last turn of the page, even if it seems so. There's endless wonder out there. Infinite possibilities. Perhaps fate will bring us back together before the universe dims. Gormus, Inferni, Blandimenta. Go then, Gale. Let's make this count. The whole world's watching. Mistaken. The name's Gale of Waterdeep. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, though our time together will be exceptionally brief. Farewell, and happy land.
He did it. He actually did it. He blew up the nether brain. And the tadpole's gone. Finally. But Gale... He's gone. He's a hero. A fucking hero. His was a noble sacrifice. I will ensure that all Gith Yankee know his name. And his sacrifice. What he has done today will start a fire that rages across the astral plane. With their lost prince return, my people will burn away Vlacket's corruption. And it is all thanks to Gale, the wizard who destroyed a nether brain. My people are leaving, and I must leave with them. Come, Lazel. We will free the Githyanki and dismantle the Empire. Orpheus. I will not... Julius! Farewell, Jestil. My liberator. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the ch- You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure, like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I've played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue, true soul, flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <clears throat> so you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The last of Thor! Powerful creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands.
One last gust of weave. One last gale to end them all. No! Beneath the smoking ashes of Moonrise Towers, the Elder Brain lies destroyed. But what of the tadpoles it commanded? Freed of the Absolute's control, they will complete their transformations. A plague of illithids will soon descend on the Sword Coast, enslaving all they do not infect. It is an ending of sorts though not the one destiny had in store for you. <laughs>